Suresh, there's been a lot of uh, questions that we get from investors about regular plan versus direct plan. Uh, as an advisor for many years, you've been charging a fee, you've also in the past had a commission structure. What would you tell investors? What is the right approach? See, the first thing that investors have to understand is that they need somebody to counsel them. Okay. So now, um, as far as a regular plan is concerned, there is a commission which is going to a distributor. Okay. If the distributor is offering um, good counsel to them as far as investments are concerned, they are offering a certain service for which they are being compensated and the investor is fine with that. I think that's, that's absolutely fine. Okay. That is number one. Number two, uh, as long as you, the investor is going to be a comparatively smaller investor. When I say comparatively smaller investor, I would put it as below 25 lakhs. Uh, then regular plans are absolutely fine. Okay. Mm. The amount of money that is going out of the kitty is not really that very big. But once the investor goes beyond a particular size and they are really interested in having an advisor. So when I talk about an advisor, I am talking about a fee only advisor who can advise them on what they need to do across products. So then the direct plan actually makes slightly more sense. Here also an advisor is going to charge them. The most important thing in the case of a fee only advisor is that they will be client centric. There is no conflict. They only represent the clients. Hmm. And those are the advantages in the case of a fee only advisor and they are fiduciaries. Fiduciaries are those people who put the client interest ahead of their, their own self interest. And that makes it very, very interesting for somebody who has a lot, uh, a lot of money and uh, who want that money to be properly managed without any conflicts. So they are going to save something in the case of a direct plan, be between a regular plan and a direct plan in an equity fund, it will be roughly about 50% roughly, that will be the saving in terms of cost. But yeah, it's not that uh, we are going to deliver uh, advice for free, so we are also going to charge. So the cost advantage is not going to be uh, very significant. Uh, what they are saving by way of uh, maybe the commissions which are going indirectly, uh, they are going to pay us by way of fees. But that is the good option. I mean, paying somebody a fee is a better choice because you know you have control. In the case of a commission, you don't have control what mm -hmm. you are paying. In the case of a fee, if I am not doing my job properly, you can renegotiate my fee or you can completely stop my fee. Those are the attractiveness. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.